Hi, welcome. I'm Melissa. Today's video is another fun video, one that I've been meaning to record for a while. I'm going to bring you my Maranta collection. I seriously love Maranta. I will eventually collect them all. I have some newer ones I added to my collection. I've had some that have been with me for a little while. I also have had some setbacks with some Maranta that I will go into a little bit more detail about later. But I'm gonna start off with my favorite Maranta. She's beautiful. She's my biggest Maranta currently at the moment. She does not live in my plant room. It is her. She lives in my bathroom. This is the first time I've taken her down in probably six weeks. <laughs> I try to uh, clean her spot in my bathroom because she makes a mess. She constantly blooms. I have a ton of flower blooms and they drop and dry and shrivel up and make a mess all around my bathroom. So yeah, I try to clean that up, <laughs> but she's beautiful. Look at her. So this one is a Maranta Lucanura Lemon Lime, and I have a few different lemon limes in my collection that you'll see, but she is my biggest and the one that's the most beautiful, like I said. She lives in my bathroom. She gets some west window light. It is a filtered window, so it is minimal. <laughs> uh, and she gets that humidity being in my bathroom, and she loves it, and I love her. I want all my Marantas to be this big. So funny thing is I got this Maranta at a big box store and she's still in the Costa pot. I have not repotted her, so she is still in the uh, mix. <laughs> I'm a little worried and afraid to repot her. That's kind of why I haven't yet. She really hasn't shown me any signs that she's stressed and doesn't like living in the mix. She hasn't had a single pest. She's been growing away. She is just the best Maranta. I know plants can't live forever. Things happen and that's okay. It really stinks when you grow a plant and something happens with it and you have to start over with it, rehab it. It stinks, I know, trust me. I've had that happen to a lot of my favorite plants. I don't know if I'm ready to repot her anytime soon, honestly, because like I said, she's giving me lots of new growth. She still seems very, very happy. And yeah, I don't, I don't want to mess that up. <laughs> Here's a closer look at the blooms. She has several. They're so cute. They're a little purple flower. She's got lots of them everywhere. And the thing about this Maranta that's cool that I, um, I knew she had some, but I never really paid attention to it that much, but she's got some interesting an interesting growth pattern going on. I'm gonna bring her closer so you can see what I'm referring to and what I mean. I guess it's some kind of aerial tuber root system thing going on. It's basically a long vine and she's growing new leaves from it. It is very cool. I don't know if you can make out these little air tuber things. Do you see all those? So it's actually growing some new leaves off of it, which is so cool. And there's a new leaf off of that long spike here. Isn't that so cool? So she's got lots of these long little, I don't know what you call those. I guess it's some kind of tuber system thing. I don't know. It's mostly on just this one side, but that is so cool. So Maranta Lemon Lime, I love her. She is the least dramatic plant, one of the least dramatic plants in my collection. Sometimes Marantas get a bad rap for being difficult or picky, which they can be if something is going on or something is wrong with the plant. But again, this is in store-bought soil and slow release fertilizer. I throw in a couple times a year and I just water her once every week and a half, two weeks in my bathroom, that's it. I honestly do not do anything else to this plant. Minimal care. I do get yellow leaves, so I trim those up. I try to do that every, when I water her, sometimes I'm lazy and I just water her and I don't clean dead leaves. So sometimes it's like once a month when I get dead crispy leaves uh, and I'll trim those off. And like the dead flower blooms, I'll just take my shears and just kind of cut them away. 
And yes, I get crispy tips, normalized crispy tips. I still get crispy tips. Uh, it has a lot to do with uh, dry air and the type of water you water your house plants with. I try to avoid tap water with uh, my Maranta Calathea collections because they are a little more sensitive to the minerals. I used to water more with distilled water and distilled doesn't have like any nutrients. Uh, and then I switched to using rainwater for a long time, but lately I've been using tap for the past month or so. I need to clean my rain barrel. I haven't done that yet. So she has given me more crispiness because of that. But yes, uh, let's move on to another one because I have quite a few more to show you. I'm going to show you my other lemon limes in a little bit, but I'm going to show you the uh, varieties I have of the Kirschiovana. So this is the Rabbit Tracks Marantta. It's I have the variegated version too that I'm going to show you, but this is just the regular green. So I have a few plants I want to show you, and I have some props here as well. So Marantta Kirschiovana. This is all from the same plant, and I will insert a photo of what this plant looked like when I first bought it. So I got this when I lived in NC and I saw it at a plant shop. I fell in love with it because it was huge. It was beautiful. And I did not know that it had mealies. I actually have a mealy bug video that I did like way, like a year and a half ago, probably, uh, that I featured the same Maranta in. And then I will insert a photo of what she looked like when um, I had her in my plant room last summer because she was huge. She was a big, beautiful Maranta. I had her down here on my floor. She just grew so well. She got kind of ambient light in my plant room. And kind of over the course of this past winter I, is when I noticed she really wasn't growing that much. It was before I discovered that I had flat mites on some of my Maranta Calathea collection. So this was one of the victims of flat mites. She was down to basically nothing. This, like a few stumps in this bucket and a few props was all that I had left. So this is the main plant. She's beautiful. She's grown back quite a bit. She's got some very large leaves coming in. Lots of new growth. It is very happy since having flat mites. And so that was one plant. I had taken a bunch of cuttings. This is my other one that is growing back post flat mites. Oh, I'm probably gonna spill soil out everywhere. <laughs> She is beautiful too. So this one is currently living in my bathroom. I have this one next to my lemon lime Maranta and you can see it's growing very well. I don't know what it is with my bathroom. I'm just not gonna add that soil back in for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is with my bathroom, but the Maranta seem to just grow very well in my bathroom because this is all like growth that I've gotten to come back. It is crazy. So, uh, yeah, I need to put all my marantas in my bathroom, apparently. So that one, I showed you that one. This is another small plant of her as well. This is just some props I potted up. I did this not too long ago. It really hasn't done much of anything yet. And Chai had nibbled this one. I just cut some leaves off that he uh, chewed. Chai is my boy cat, and he doesn't normally eat plants. But uh, Maranta, sometimes he nibbles and uh, he had nibbled a couple other plants before when I was letting them in my plant room. Uh, and this one they can reach, so he probably just got curious and took a few nibbles. And then I also have some props that are long overdue to be potted up and you can see all of the roots in there. Uh, yeah, I need to pot these up soon. <laughs> What I'll probably do is maybe combine these because that one hasn't grown that much. I feel like I could unpot this and add those in and pot these up to create like a third Maranta. Uh, Cause I don't need several Maranta pots or do I? Uh, I'm gonna leave this one alone in here and just let whatever grows back out of the soil from the rhizomes. Those little potato looking things are rhizomes and new shoots will form. So if your Maranta or Calathea goes dormant and you have to cut all the leaves off, don't toss it because they'll eventually spike up and produce new growth. 
because uh, a lot of my calathea came down with flat mites and they're starting to, some of them are, are starting to push new growth again. So yeah, I love these marantas. These ones are so pretty. I think the rabbit track name is cute too because of the markings. This one grows pretty fast in my experience. I will say if you notice your marantas not growing, I think they're extremely fast growers. If they're not growing, that is a signal that something is wrong, that the plant is stressed. It could be the environment, but I honestly would check for flat mites you, or uh, broad mites even. You can't see them, you have to use a microscope because to the naked eye, they're so tiny, you can't. You can't see them on your plant leaves like spider mites. My marantas don't get spider mites. Um, they're not pest magnets for me, just flat mites uh, they fall victim to. You'll notice flat mite damage when there is a pretty large infestation. They kind of scuff up and damage the plant leaves and that's how I spotted them uh, was with my silver band. And a lot of my maranta collection pretty much came down with them. <laughs> so yeah, that is this guy. I love this maranta. And yeah, I'll show you the variegated one next. So this is my variegated Kershiovana right here. This is all that's left. She is growing back a lot though. This one was very big and beautiful in my collection. The variegation was stunning. It had a severe, severe flat mite infestation. It was very sad. It was pretty much down to nothing. I had added a prop in here and I also, um, yeah, just tried to regrow it the best I could. It's starting to grow back in a little though. It's definitely taking its time uh, to come back in. And I do believe I have one strand that's reverting on this one, but you can still see some of the variegation on it. I actually got mine, uh, I believe at Walmart or something for $4. It was pretty inexpensive and it grew from there. And it was so beautiful last summer. It was so big and just so pretty. I felt so bad that the plant suffered for so long. But yes, I am very hopeful and thankful that it didn't completely go and it's starting to grow back. I just miss my variegated one because I love variegated plants. Uh, yeah, so if I ever find another one, I do want a second pot. I don't really want to prop this again or anything because I don't want to jeopardize what I already have here. I don't want to stress the plant or anything like that. So I definitely want a second variegated Maranta. I would love one that's more variegated if I can find one. Uh, so yeah, I might have to do a little search around town to see what I can find because I've been saying that for like six months now. Ever since I found out this one was just really sad from the mites, yeah, I've been on the hunt for one. So hopefully soon, maybe I can find one. <laughs> so yeah, I am looking forward to this one growing back. Next up are three more lemon limes. <laughs> uh, the reason why I have so many is because I bought three at once at a big box store at Lowe's. It was one of my plant shopping days. The one in the bathroom that I showed you first has grown the best. I think it's just because it must really love the bathroom environment. I think it's probably the combination of the humidity and the light in there. Uh, maybe some temperature in there. Uh, I don't know what it is. These have grown a lot too, don't get me wrong, but they're not as full and fluffy as the other ones. Now, these three lemon limes did not catch flat mites, but this one here did. This one was in my plant room, and these have never been in my plant room. This is my OG Maranta. This is my very first Maranta that I ever purchased. I have a picture with Luna and Chai, uh, with it, I got it around Christmas time. I believe it was 2020. Yeah, this Maranta is three and a half years old, but I just recently had to chop it uh, to reroot it. So I currently have it in water. This is, oh, <laughs> shoot. Uh, it's, it's very rooted in here. I could definitely pot it up. It was another flat mite victim and it just it just kept yellowing leaves. It just wasn't looking happy. But I am gonna pot this up separately because since this is my OG one, I just wanna have this be a nice full pot. So yeah, I love this Maranta. It was really uh, growing a lot when I had it. I'll insert like another old photo in the old house. It was like one of my it was like one of my first Instagram posts that I did that blew up, I guess, because at that time I didn't realize 
how these plants can make such an impression, I guess. Because they are somewhat finicky and having one be big, I think it just, some people were just very curious uh, about my care and stuff. And that's what started, I think, my Maranta train because I loved it and it grew so well for me. Uh, and then I started collecting more and now I love them and I want all the different varieties. So yeah, if you see a Maranta I don't have, again, let me know down below. So these other two lemon limes pretty much look the exact same. This one lives in my dining room. It's a little bit more crispy, uh, but again, it's a very full Maranta. Very full, very long. Again, I have not repotted it yet. <laughs> and yeah, it's another happy Maranta. I, I feel like I don't do anything special with these plants. I have some slow release fertilizer that I tossed in here, but again, here's the other one. This one lives in my bedroom. I haven't done anything with these guys. I just water them slow release and I just look for pests when I water them. That's, that's honestly it, you guys. I don't know. It's like, I feel like when someone asks for care tips with my Maranta, I don't really, I don't really have anything to say that much because I feel like I don't do anything special with these guys. I would say my biggest advice would be crisping is normal. So if you have dry air to make sure to increase humidity and just watch your type of water that you use. Here they are separately. And then, um, other than that, just pests, check for pests because Maranta Calathea. Hi! Hi, Nunu! You must have heard me talking! <laughs> yeah! How's your outside life, huh? You've been sleeping outside. You look sleepy. Now, what was I saying? I got distracted. Thanks, Luna. Uh, oh, yes, about pests. So that's my biggest thing is Maranta calathea, the Marantasia family, the Stromanthi. Those plants are very stress sensitive in my experience. So even a, a, like a small pest infestation can really set them back. So definitely just stay on top of checking for pests and treat an infestation right away so that it doesn't spread. But that's my biggest tips on Maranta. So I have one, two, I have four varieties left and then we'll be finished. I'm gonna put these guys away and the next one I'll show you is a little bit sad, but that's okay. <laughs> and then we'll show some of my other favorite, more recent ones next. The next Maranta in my collection is my red Maranta. She used to be a lot more full and this is kind of what's left. Again, another huge flat mite victim. Yeah, <laughs> I took some cuttings of like some of the new growth that didn't seem to be affected and I have them in water. Again, they're rooted, I need to pot these up. But I wanted to create a separate pot of like healthy leaves just in case this one did die back and go dormant. Uh, she used to be so full. I'll put a picture of like a very full, bushy pot. This was around December time when I took these photos. Uh, yeah, I hate seeing it like this, but I mean, she's very, still very full, still a pretty Maranta. It just, I've seen her in better days, but she's hanging in there. Honestly, this one has done it's done well with everything. Um, again, I think it was just the combination of flat mites and the treatment I did that severely stressed them because I had to use sulfur, which I don't recommend. Uh, it was very harsh and they reacted, definitely. See, I have beneficial mites on her currently. The markings on the red maranta is very pretty. Uh, the backside of the leaves, look at that. <laughs> It's hard to make out. I love the pattern too. I forgot to tell you the lemon lime, all the different leaf patterns on that plant. It's like every new leaf looks different. Uh, kind of the same in a way with the red maranta, like some leaves are darker and have a different pattern on them. And uh, yeah, but I love red maranta. I love like the red and green. Just reminds me of like the holiday time with the red and green leaves, I don't know. <laughs> A very beautiful Maranta. I might end up just propping the whole thing or cutting it all back and just let it reshoot and grow happy like my Kershiobanas did, but we'll see. I'm just waiting to see what she decides to do. 
This is the time of day that my marantas start looking like spiders, if you know what I mean. Uh, kind of mid-afternoon, their leaves are really folded down and they look like very straggly spiders. <laughs> and then as their leaves start to move up at night, uh, they go to like a praying position and towards like the morning, I feel like eight o'clock in the morning here is the best that my, my bathroom Maranta looks. She looks so full. Their leaves like aren't all the way up, but they're not closed all the way down. They're just in this nice opened position. I don't know. It just like, I don't know. I, I laugh sometimes when I see my Marantas at this time of day because I should have filmed it earlier. They would have looked a little bit more full. <laughs> Uh, but this is my Silver Bay Maranta, another flatmate victim, unfortunately. Kind of same story with my Red Maranta. I took cuttings and my Lemon Lime, and I actually just recently potted up the Silver Bay Maranta cuttings, and I grew them in water, just like the other props that I have. And so far, it's doing well since I potted it up. Uh, this is a different soilless mix that I'm trying, and I just wanted to see how this Maranta would respond to it, and so far so good. Uh, it seems to have adjusted from water very well. I just gave it a little bit more water the other day, uh, yesterday actually, and yeah, it's doing well. I might eventually pot this one together to make a full pot back, uh, since this was just a bunch of props. I just wanted to keep it separate just in case something did happen to this one uh, as like a backup. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I love Silver Van. I fell in love with this Maranta. This one was like my first rare Maranta that I purchased. I bought it. I have a very old Etsy unboxing uh, on my channel. Uh, probably like January 2020 or no. When did I get this? I don't even know, but it's a very old video uh, if you're curious. Uh, but yeah, I fell in love with this Maranta and it grew pretty big and very well and then Boom, flat lights. I love the color on this one though. It's like a silvery blue, gray, green tone. So, so pretty. Definitely one of my favorites. I'm excited to get these growing again. Again, it was like very sad that that happened to them, but they are on the mend and yeah. Uh, I'm excited to get them growing some more. These next two are my last two varieties. <laughs> I uh, bought them recently, so many of you know what they are. I just featured the Black Maranta here in my favorites video. It's beautiful. I kind of compared it with the Silver Band Maranta. It's definitely one that's harder to get your hands on. I ordered these online off of Etsy. I just did a search for them. So this is just one plant, and again, when it grows and gets more full, I'll eventually propagate it to create a big plant. It's still in the original mix that it came in. I haven't added any fertilizer or anything like that, but I probably will uh, here to get it some nutrients. So pretty. I think this one is probably like my top favorite right now, even over the silver band and the lemon lime. I think the lemon lime in my bathroom is like, my favorite because she's the impressive one. And my OG one, I love because it's the most sentimental. Again, I have that attachment issue with plants. Um, but yeah, I love this one. And this one here, I love too. It really hasn't done too much since I got it. I got these at the same time, about a week apart. This is a Light Veins Maranta. It has like, a, the veining is different. So this one has only given me two little leaves since I got it. Uh, I upsized it uh, from the tiny pot that it came in, but yeah, I really haven't done that much with it. I didn't scan these plants for pests. You know, I was just thinking about that. I meant to check uh, to make sure this plant didn't have like any flat mites or anything like that. I probably should have checked honestly, and I didn't do that. Uh, this plant may have flat mites, you guys, or broad mites. Maybe that's why it's been a little uh, iffy on growing. I'm gonna have to break out my microscope. It's not charged, so the battery completely died on it, so I have to charge it, and then I might end up scoping it. This is the leaf in question. This is why I, I like, I'm always hesitant when I get new plants. I don't know. I, I should have scoped it and I didn't. I hope I don't have more flat mite issues because that would suck. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, just stop touching things and wash my hands and 
Yeah, I hope I just didn't contaminate some plants with this. <laughs> Not really a good way to end this video, but uh, I'll probably scope it at some point here if I don't forget to charge my microscope. I'll charge it and take a look. If I do find flat mites, I will put something here on the screen and let you know. Or if I do find them, I will put something on, like a video wise on the screen here. And if I didn't scan it, then I didn't do it yet. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. I got to charge the microscope, which means I have to find the charger. And that could be an issue because I tend to misplace things like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I'll let you know, but I'm not panicking. You know, I can get rid of them. I'll just use some Castile soap and water, knock them off and just spray like once a week. They should go away uh, just fine. So nothing crazy. <laughs> but yeah, that is my Maranta collection. I hope you enjoyed. Again, I'm very excited about all of my Marantas. And please let me know if there is another Maranta that you know of that I don't have. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. If there was something I didn't cover about Marantas or you were curious about, uh, yeah, drop me a comment and I will talk to you guys again very soon.